What's good, everyone? It's your homie Hermit. We're back with another reaction. This time we have more Iron Maiden. We are on the song Seventh Son of a Seventh Son off of the album Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. Let's hop right into it. I don't know much about this song other than it's supposed to have a crazy guitar solo. Um, and if it's a bunch of Maiden fans saying that the guitar solo is crazy, it's got to be exceptional. So. Let's hop right into this, or turn the music up, let's play it. It's a nice little groove that they got going on, dude. I, I can get down with that. I love hearing him hold notes like that. So far, honestly, I, I really like this song. <laughs>
I liked I liked that little uh, what would it be like an instrumental break? I don't think it was a full guitar solo, but when it started, dude, you could tell it was like fucking Mr. Big Dick is strutting back in town. That's the vibe that I got from it, and I loved it.
dude, what? And then they leave you hanging like that. It didn't. First of all, song didn't even seem like it was ten minutes, not even close. Um, that the instrumental itself could have been the song, <laughs> you know, like that guitar solo is crazy. Now I, now I get why the album is called Seventh Son of a Seventh Son, because when you have a song like that, it's gotta be the fucking title track. Uh, now. I got to say, after, I know the first couple songs, it, it might not have seemed like uh, I enjoyed them all too much, but I've been listening to them more, and after multiple listens, uh, I just, I got to say, like, I may not enjoy listening to this album as much as the previous three or four, but... I can appreciate the hell out of it. It is growing on me, like, with every listen. With every time I listen to a new song or or, uh, re-listen to a song, I I just become a bigger and bigger fan of the album. But the reason I respect the album so much is because while we were listening to this song in particular, there were so many sounds that I recognized as being similar to sounds by bands like system of a down and guys like them coming out, uh, during my generation. So there is like a lot to be thankful for, for this or from this album, because I, I can tell it had its influence just by listening to it. You know, I can, I can tell that even if, the Iron Maiden community didn't accept it as, as much as I just, you know, like if I, they didn't accept it as much as like number of the beast or whatever, but the rock community and metal community and the uh, future generations needed something like this. Because so many bands used sounds that I imagine because they say that Maiden is metal. Maiden created metal. I imagine they started sounds like this then. You know? It, they, I, if they're the band that started metal, if they're going to char- start changing their sound, they're not going to follow someone else's direction. They change their sound because other people start sounding like them, I would imagine. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm down as fuck to uh, check out the rest of the album. This one definitely did not disappoint. Uh, let me know. Let me, let me know what you guys think about that statement about it, uh, impacting the future generations of metal, especially the, what the millennials grew up listening to. I would say like, uh, cause it's just, maybe it's not like, uh, similar like chords and stuff like that but sound effects and stuff like that there's similarities and like how uh change ups and transitions there's similarities is what i'm trying to say um but yeah i was a i was a big fan of this one um <laughs> honestly I uh, I really can't wait for the second half of this album. Uh, the first I was I was not ex- honestly I wasn't expecting it to be this good after listening to the first two songs, but everything since and, and re-listening to the first two songs made me like them even more. Uh, but yeah, this this one has made me a solid fan of the album. Uh, Big shout out to all the Patreon supporters, everybody watching the videos, everybody checking out the TikTok videos and the live streams. Uh, Looks like tomorrow we are going to be hitting 1 million views on the channel in our first year. So, uh, I I mean, today we will be hitting that. So thank you guys for uh, watching my videos and giving me guidance and telling me what songs I should check out. Uh, I hope you continue watching and enjoying for this upcoming year and, and on and on. 
Uh, you all have an amazing rest of your day. We'll catch you at the next one. Peace.